Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top tropical vacation fragrances. I have a whole playlist on summer fragrances because they're some of my favorite. And I was gonna do a coconut perfumes video kind of updating last year's, but I got so many new coconut fragrances. But before I put them in a coconut video, I wanna play with them and make sure that they're gonna stay in my collection. So you could check out last year's coconut video. I'll have that link, but I'm gonna have my whole summer fragrance playlist linked down below. This video is a little different. This one, because last year I did my top fruity florals, I did my top freshies. I'm doing top vacation fragrances and I took two from each category that I like. And these were the ones that if I had to pack up my fragrances because I'm going on a two week vacation. What are the top 10 I would pick? And I would want something in every category. So I have here my top coconut, my top suntanny beachy scents, my top sunset hour fragrances, freshy and fruity florals, kind of like that. So let's go ahead and get into the list. So we're gonna start off with kind of my more casual, just chilling by the beach kind of suntanny fragrances. Now I have a few now but the two that i ended up picking one wasn't really a suntanny one but that is brazilian crush shadow 62 along with boom boom creek and i had someone recently tell me that they it drives them crazy when i say boom boom cream except that's how you say it in brazil it is boom boom cream it's not boom boom cream i'll insert a little clip pronounced as boom boom in brazil just so you know this is one i would take on vacation just because it's easy to carry around on vacation it's one that when you pair it up with the cream at least on me it lasts it's one that i've gotten compliments on even hours after having it on this performs really well for being a you know a body mist and so does the cream and it just reminds me of a tropical vacation of being on the beach to me it's a more casual scent it's yummy and I just knew it had to be on this list. If I'm going on vacation, I'm definitely popping this in my bag along with Boom Boom Cream. So again, this is Shirosa 62. Okay, so I knew I wanted to take a suntan kind of scent with me. And again, I recently talked about Sun De Joya, which I'm gonna have that whole range review link down below. And then I also have Beach Walk, but I'm still playing around with those fragrances. Instead, I decided to go with Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Sun. Yeah, psych! Hey guys, Messy Becky here. So, your girl just can't get it together these days. I wanted to keep that clip in with Light Blue Sun because Light Blue Sun, I think, is still a vacation in a bottle. It's a suntan lotion kind of scent that I would recommend, but it's actually one that I'm going to be letting go of. So I hauled Light Blue sun a little over a year ago i had a larger bottle and really enjoyed the flanker light blue the original is actually an, a pretty old scent i think it came out in 2001 or two so it's a fragrance that is not only or was popular here in florida but reminds me of if you've seen videos it reminds me of my old marketing director it was her signature scent so i can't really enjoy light blue not that i can't enjoy it i can appreciate the scent it's kind of a classic i would say but i'm over it and i actually started wearing love is love and i wore this one the other day working from home just this last week and this one smells even more like the original it's a little bit sweeter it's got like an ice cream note that comes off kind of like sugared water almost to my nose it doesn't really come off creamy maybe slightly lectonic but this one actually kind of is nice but it got a little annoying so i ended up popping this one on top of it and this one just has too much of the dna as well and i thought maybe because i wore that one and popped this one over it but i ended up wearing this the next day to the gym and i couldn't wait to come home and kind of wash it off again it's there's nothing wrong with the scent this is light blue but a more sun tanning kind of version but i'm just over this scent so i'm actually going to be passing these on and then i'm going to be shifting some stuff around so i'm going to move this into a fragrance mist category an easy grab and go kind of category and then i have two more sun tanny scents to go over so along with this one i wanted to pop in at the beach from bath and body works this is 
really nice kind of citrusy coconut musky scent so i wanted to create a new category we're still gonna have a top 10 fragrances but these are two honorable missed options if you don't want to spend money i have here inspiration designer and niche so i have a little bit of everything and then i'm gonna go into my sun tanny now the first one i'm gonna go over was actually in my coconuts category but like, like i said i moved some things around right, first so. up we're gonna go over floriental coconut by dossier and this is supposed to be an inspiration to tom ford's soleil blanc and this has top notes of cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, middle notes of ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, and then base notes of cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. This is another kind of sun tanny scent, but this is an expensive. Like when I talked about this one, I, I might have talked about this one in my video last year, but this is like a luxurious sun tan coconut scent. And again, that's Floriental Coconut. I do believe they changed the name of this oh. one. Floriental coconut, which I did check, and it is powdery coconut. So whereas this is kind of your poolside suntan lotion kind of scent, this next one I would say is more of your beachy kind of suntan lotion scent. And that is Alexandria Fragrances Hawaii Volcano. Now this one isn't as heavy on the suntan, but it is there. It does have like Ylang Ylang, which kind of gives off that vibe. It has jasmine, hibiscus. But to me, this is more of a lime coconut scent. Kind of like at the beach. These don't smell exact, but this is pretty close. It's a pretty decent dupe for this fragrance. And this fragrance is actually duping, or I should say is inspired by Creed's Virgin Island Water. And I did go over both. I had a sample. That is a very beautiful kind of citrusy coconut boozy scent i will say that that one is a little bit boozier that one has a note of rum this one they don't list rum but there's still something kind of like a mojito kind of vibe to this one this one has lime bergamot coconut there's also musk and woodsy notes in this one there's ylang and there might be jasmine i'm not too sure but for me this is about the course this is a lime coconut woodsy musky scent and i will say that the coconut shines in the high heat of summer this is a scent that after i tried out sun and realized i was going to pass it on and i was looking for another kind of suntan lotion fragrance i pulled this one out and when i had tested it out it was very heavy on the line but when i went outside and like went on a walk with dennis and the dogs the coconut started to shine through and because i wanted to make sure it wasn't just in the dry down i went ahead and wore it the next day and in the morning when i got up i put it on walked the dogs and the same thing the coconut on my skin comes out in like that high heat and this one does well i can't really say it performs better than Creed's Virgin Island water because I only had a two mil sample, but this has great performance. And I have heard that Virgin Island water doesn't have the best. So this is a really nice one, especially if you don't want to bring your more expensive fragrances or you don't want to spend the high price tag. This smells pretty spot on. Again, there is a rum note that I pick up in Creed's Virgin Island water, but there is something in here as well. I don't know what it is that's coming off kind of boozy in this one but in the dry down these smell very similar and especially if you're not putting like nose to skin so again that is alexandria fragrances hawaii volcano okay the next we're gonna go into well i guess this one's kind of a mix this is kind of like my fruity florals but one's day and one's night <laughs> so i think this is my ultimate fruity floral it's very tropical to me it's just sunshine in a bottle perfect for summer and that is parfum de mali's meliora it's the berries that are in here it's got this really pretty musky base that kind of gives it like this clean fresh out of the shower berry cocktail kind of scent and if you don't want to travel with something as expensive as this, Lalique Amethyst is very close to this one. Actually, you know, this is expensive. So I think if I was going on vacation, I might just pick up Lalique Amethyst and pop that in my bag. But this is one that I think is a beautiful, like tropical, fruity floral. It's kind of musky. 
It's fresh, it's juicy, it's mouth-watering. And one that I would definitely decant and take with me. I, I don't know that I would take this beautiful bottle with me, but this is definitely one that I think is perfect for like a tropical vacation. To me, this is again, more daytime. We're gonna go sightseeing, maybe do like lunch. And then at night, this one isn't overly fruity, but this is my nighttime tropical vacation fragrance. And this is Angel Eau Colcier. And this I believe is a 2020 um, version. And this is just, this doesn't have coconut, but the fig in here, the fig in here comes off just coconutty and creamy. And I will say that I have the other version, the mango. This one's my favorite. This is another one that's kind of gourmand and the patchouli in here isn't as strong as it is in the 2019 version. I wore the other one the other day and the patchouli was taking over. This one is more like tonic. It's more creamy. And again, the fig just comes off a little bit more coconutty. And this is just to me a tropical vacation night. This is maybe you're going to go out like walking on the pier at night or you're going to go to like a touristy spot where there's going to be music and dancing. But again, it's it's nighttime. So again, that is Angel Eau Colcier. So next we're going to go over my coconut fragrances. And these at the moment are my two favorite. That could change because again, I picked up quite a few coconut scents. But first up, we're going to go over Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. And this is more of a coconut jasmine kind of fragrance. Like this is coconut with white florals. This one is to me a more sexy date night kind of tropical coconut scent. There is something kind of beachy about this one. I've said I recently reviewed the Kayali house and I don't know. I feel like there's some kind of, of those beachy florals that are in here, but they're not listed in the notes, but I get them. There's something slightly suntanny about this one as well. But yeah, this to me is more about the coconut and the jasmine. Like I pick up the jasmine a lot in this one. It's a very pretty white jasmine scent and mixed with that coconut it just makes it very sexy for nighttime. And again, that's Kayali Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. For my last coconut fragrance, and I missed this one honestly because I have all of my fragrances from this house in, in their boxes because I'm looking for a stand, but that is Mickey Mouse The Fragrance by House of Siash. And I overlooked this one because again, it's, it was in its box, but this is one of my top, if not my favorite coconut scent. It does sit a little bit closer to the skin, which you guys know that that doesn't necessarily bother me. It's when it has like no longevity that it bothers me but i would say that this has okay longevity especially if you get your clothes in your hair this like hawaii volcano and creeds virgin island water it's more of your citrus kind of coconut this one has bergamot it has um i think it's mandarin orange there is there's cardamom in this one so it's got kind of a soft spicy like a soft spiciness to this one and this one has cacao and tonka bean and sandalwood. I don't get the orange blossom in this one. I don't really pick up any floral notes. It's more of a very soft, spicy, kind of citrus coconut scent, but it's not as heavy on the citrus as this one is. It's a softer kind of citrus. The bergamot does lean a little bit more on the greener side than I would say kind of like lemon. It, it does lean a little bit more like lime, but it's not as strong as it is in Creed's Virgin Island Water and Hawaii Volcano. This is a top coconut fragrance. This is definitely vacation in a bottle. And again, that is Mickey Mouse The Fragrance by House of Siash. All right, next category is sunset. These two fragrances I wear all day, but they just give me that kind of sunset vibe. So first we're gonna go over Olympia by Paco Rabanne. And this is, this is the sun setting on the beach. You get a salty, fresh, beachy kind of scent. Something very light and sweet, which is the vanilla. The vanilla doesn't come out heavy, even after having this fragrance for a little while. It doesn't get overly vanilla like it does on other people. On my skin, I pull more of like that fresh, salty air. 
yeah this one's more of a vibe to me this is again you're on the beach it's empty it's a cool beachy breeze and the sun is setting and again that is olympia by paco roban all right another kind of slightly gourmand i think this one's considered a, a gourmand but it's my favorite kind of gourmand this is soleil lali so i think this one is considered like a floral fruity gourmand this scent is beautiful when i first got this one i was like oh it's pretty it's not revolutionary but this is a lifer for me now this is lectonic it's kind of nutty there's a lot of notes in this one it's fruity there's something soft spicy about this one this is another one that kind of reminds me of the sun setting this is one that i think it's beautiful transitioning from summer to fall i think it's the soft spiciness that kind of gives me fall vibes but this is definitely to me like, like a summer gourmand i know it's kind of weird but this scent was one that i really liked it when i hauled it i just didn't think it was worth the price but i would I would buy this fragrance over and over again i hope they don't discontinue it because i just i love this fragrance i don't know why it's not anything like i said in my review before it's not anything like oh my god this is so unique but i just think it's beautiful it's just got so much going on to it. it's got a lot of personality to me but yeah that is soleil by la Lique, and this is just again the sun setting on the beach i mean it even looks like the sun okay and the last category are my freshies freshies has always been a love of mine so okay so we're going on an expensive vacation what is the fragrance i'm gonna pick atelier de ors nuda veritas this is a fresh but this isn't aquatic fresh this is like floral citrusy might be musky i don't know if there's musk in this one yeah this is very classy chic very put together you're going on vacation you're you have an all white summer dress on and i just know that if i want something fresh but smells expensive this is the scent that i would grab this is a nice one for like the high heat of summer this was one i ended up wearing on my 10 year anniversary it reminds me of the color white so it is one that on vacation i have brought with me and again to me this is fresh not like an aquatic fresh it's just more of like a musky kind of white floral citrusy kind of fresh fragrance and again that is atelier de ors nuda veritas okay and then last i think you guys knew <laughs> my last freshie this one is more aquatic this is aqua de joya by giorgio armani and this is a lifer for me <laughs> so this is actually my scent of the day well along with ocean de joya <sighs> yeah this is aromatic this is citrus this is green this has amalfi lemon this has brown sugar this has jasmine this has mint but this just melts into my skin and it's just my scent this is my signature scent it's again it's more about the accords to this one this one has a note of brown sugar and i don't really get anything like sweet or sugary about this one this to me is more fresh more green it's a little more aromatic this is um for me day to night this is a scent that again i will link my video below where i go over this house this was my signature scent for the last decade on and off and i actually wore this one for like an entire year this is all i wore people know this scent they associate this scent with me it's just this just goes with me my personality this is one that i would definitely take with me on any vacation i have taken this one on vacation and i would put this in the top kind of like fresh aquatic category and again that is aqua de joya by giorgio armani so those are my top 10 fragrances that I would take with me right now if I was going on vacation. I definitely have a lot more that could have gone on this list, but this was like right now, as of today, I'm getting ready to leave on a two week trip and I'm going to pack a nice bag i do actually have um i purchased a kaali travel bag so that i could take perfumes with me <laughs> even if they're not they're not the kaali and they're like separated really nicely i think it has six slots i would probably put my expensive perfumes in there so they're nicely protected and then i would probably like just throw these in, in the bag or whatever but if you told me right now you gotta pack 10 perfumes only 
as of today right now these are the 10 i would pick what are some of the fragrances you would pick as of today but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys